Procreate or Morfolio Trace, which one of these is the best drawing app for iPad? In today's video, we'll look at the features and benefits of both of these apps. So hopefully by the end of this video, you can determine which one of these is the best one for you. Because I have been using these two apps extensively for my illustration and architectural work, I can offer you my take on this question. Now, when it comes to both of these apps, both of them have been designed with drawing in mind. So in that sense, it's very easy and intuitive to use them. There is a healthy selection of tools such as the brushes. There are also different line assist tools. So for example, if you draw freehand, the line smoothing can be applied or straight line filter can also be applied to lines to replicate the real life drawing with a ruler. There's also color management, undo, redo, scale, copy, mirror. Each app has also a very powerful layer management system that can be used to organize the drawing. And these layers can also be used as a modern day tracing paper as well. So I use these apps for two different purposes. The first one is the illustration. So I prefer prefer hand-drawn approach much better compared to the computer rendering. And I also use these illustrations for my YouTube channel workflows or tutorials that you can also check out on this channel. The other reason why I'd use these apps is for diagrams, ideations, and design development. So I'll use them instead of my sketchbooks due to the fact that it's much easier to transport my iPad anywhere I go. I don't have to bring all my tools and my brushes and my pens anymore because all of that can now be found inside the iPad itself. So let's Let's talk about the purpose of these two tools. Procreate, I would say, has been developed for general purpose artistic use. So its audience is very broad. Uh, it's all sorts of artists that use it, including architects. And it's very simple and intuitive in the way it's been designed. Morfolio Trace, on the other hand, has been developed specifically for architects in mind. And it has equally powerful drawing tools available within. But it also has some very bespoke architect specific tools that you can't find, I don't think, in any other drawing app that I've tested. And this has also been reflected in the pricing model. Procreate, for example, has a one-off payment of about $10 and you can use that app for the rest of your life compared to Morfolio Trace app that has the recurrent subscription fee of about $20 a year, which you have to renew. But I think this is kind of reflectant on how these apps are used. Procreate has a wider pool of users, whereas Morfolio Trace is a bit more specific and niche for architects. And it also has some bespoke features. Talking about features, let's have a look at both of these apps and I'll start with Procreate first. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice in Procreate is that it's very simple. Its welcoming screen is basically a bunch of files that I've created previously. If I create a new file, you'll see that user interface is equally simple. All it has is this black tab at the top with some tools and this panel on the left hand side as well. So at the top we have pens over here, eraser here, layers, some settings at the top left and then also the brush size setting here and opacity over here. Here. So Procreate also benefits from the simplicity of the drawing. For example, we can zoom out of this sheet and rotate it in any direction we want. And by simply pitching it like so, it reverts back to its original scale. So it's quite powerful if we want to scribble something like so. And then without turning the iPad, we can adjust the direction of the canvas to suit our palm direction and then pitch back to the beginning. I also like its line assist tool. So for example, if you want to draw a perfect circle, you just kind of draw a circle and then hold it and then Procreate kind of creates that circle for us. Similarly with the straight line, we can do the same. So by holding the line, it creates a, a straight line. And similarly with ellipses, there's also undo if we want to change something with the two finger tap and redo with the three finger tap. Procreate has also has an enormous selection of brushes. So if we look at these default brushes, it has several groups that come with it by default. And each of these groups have a selection of brushes within it. And I even created my own selection of brushes, which are available for download in the description below. Procreate has also drawing guide available. We can also set the perspective tool in here as well, two point or three point, just to help us to make spatial drawings a bit more streamlined. One thing to say about Procreate is that it doesn't have dedicated scale tools, which can be an obstacle for some architects because we would have to rely on workarounds in order to draw in scale. So if we go to Morfolio Trace app, you can see that its interface is similar to Procreate. It has a a selection of files that I've created and some organizational panels as well. And you can see the user interface is a bit more intense than in Procreate. It has all of these panels all around it. As I mentioned, it is a feature rich app, so it does take a little bit more time to get into it. I would say that the drawing experience is very similar to Procreate, although it is lacking in the selection of brushes. It only has 10 in this app and I can't really control the settings of those brushes either. This pen, it has this nice 
kind of beginning and the end. I go to pencil, for example, it ends with these blurry kind of edges. And I would like to have an opportunity to have them the same and to adjust them. The smoothness as well, in Procreate, as you remember, we had the app assisting us in creating circles, whereas this one can only do a maximum smoothing and then we kind of have to aim for that circle to be correct unless we choose to use a protractor tool, for example, to trace around it like so. Another thing to note is that it doesn't have the same pinch zoom and we would have to set manually the rotation of the canvas. I have these locked so that I don't accidentally move them because I can't have that pinch functionality to revert back. The straight lines as well, we would have to activate the ruler and it's kind of always <laughs> in your face compared to the Procreate which doesn't have that so we'd have to move that aside in order to draw. In order to draw lines at any angle, we'd have to revert to the infinite snap. Morfolio is a touch clunkier than Procreate but I think once you get into Morfolio it really doesn't feel that much different because the whole process becomes more intuitive. Where Morfolio does excel is in its ability to draw at scale. So for example if I create a new layer on top and draw some random boxes to say resemble my first ideas of the plan. What I can do is by clicking on this tool here and adjusting the input I can then set the scale of that drawing to say 50 meters and then what it does it rescales the whole thing to be 50 meters so then if I choose to activate the ruler I can see that it's indeed 50 meters and I can measure other bits of it as well. I'm happy with the scale I can activate the super hatch I can then measure inside of each of these squares how big they are in terms of the area. So again that's really powerful if you want to develop a plan inside the Procreate itself. As well with the scaling tools another feature that I don't quite see in other apps at all is the ability to trace directly over a map. So if I zoom somewhere here in London and, and then I can simply draw over any area within it and it will be drawn to scale. So if I want to develop for example this patch of land I can also not only can I measure it but I can also measure its square meterage as well. Another thing you can do is you can draw directly over 3D model and then what it does it automatically matches the perspective so you're you know you can just kind of draw over it without having to worry about adjusting these the perspective lines. We also have stencils in the app which are accessible from this tool panel over here and you can see they act pretty much the same way as CAD blocks and AutoCAD or Revit families. There's a scale bar at the bottom of them so we can either scale them to fit the scale of our drawing or we can just tap to fill and then adjust the scale later on using the rescale tool that we covered. It has a selection of different types of stencils so we can put like trees and we can either tap to color the whole thing or we can just kind of trace over it like so. And there's an option to lock the stencil so that it doesn't change in its size if we zoom in and out of the drawing. And then if we're happy with our drawing we can go share and we can export PDF directly for Morfolio Trace for sharing or for printing. So hopefully by now it's clear that these tools are made with slightly different purposes and this is the reason why I use both of these apps in my work because I have that flexibility of if I need to draw to scale or if I need to produce some diagrams or develop my design I would always revert to Morfolio Trace app because it has that precision that Procreate doesn't have. On the other hand any sort of illustrations I would always revert to Procreate and the reason is is that it has that selection of brushes that's lacking in Morfolio Trace. So hopefully you enjoyed this video if you like to see more content on different workflows and drawing tutorials then check out some of the other videos on my channel. I try to make content weekly for architects and designers specifically so if you are into that sort of stuff then consider subscribing. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.